Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Before we head back to Hollow Bastion and complete our journey, there is one more thing we can do before doing so. Now, we've been able, we were able to explore this since we found that book that Sid gave to Merlin way back in our second trip to Traverse Town, roughly. But we we wanted to wait out until we actually got all the necessary ingredients. As you recall, we got those torn pages scattered throughout you know separate worlds, and they're for this. Yeah, folks, so if you like Final Fantasy XIII, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Seriously, this is gonna be, we're going to be doing some light reading here, but it'll be nowhere near as arduous as that. I think someone had too much fun with the whiteout. Indeed. No, Merlin's just a klutz. Whoa, what do we got there? Man, I know you got to censor the books for kids, but Jesus Christ. Although, same. you know, the original Winnie the Pooh is pretty goddamn hardcore. <laughs> yeah, that was the time he had no shirt. That's hardcore. <laughs> he was a streaker. For God's sakes, his name is a synonym with poop. <laughs> I had to admit, what was your reaction when you found Hundred Acre Wood to be one of those a world in Kingdom Hearts? I have, I, I found out through the commercials of the game. Okay, now let me ask you again. What was your reaction? <laughs> I had no reaction, to be perfectly honest. I was more interested in the Final Fantasy characters. Really couldn't care about the Disney's. Here's the thing about this. For me, it was like an odd surprise. Like, I admit, it was. I thought it was clever of them to include a world like this into the game. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't like being here. Well, we'll start getting into that as we explore more of the world. But yes, I will. Look, Hundred Acre Wood. While I'm sure I saw the trip for many of you. Is my least favorite world in the entire game. Agree. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Because. Well, no. Because you get older and then you re you get to like a certain age where it's like. No, it's not. Even, it doesn't have to do with that. I'm just talking about from a gameplay perspective. Uh, it drags and it's nothing but mini games. It's unnecessary. You know, there's no heartless in this world whatsoever. It's just. Mini games upon mini games. I remember when we had this problem where I was getting into where a lot of Disney worlds, in terms of plot, go nowhere. You're pretty much just replaying the game, the the, the Disney World's no movie, in a completely abridged fashion. Because here's the thing: it's easier to relate to the Disney movie canon than it would be to go by the TV episode of canon. The thing, but I'm, I'm talking about in terms of the Kingdom Hearts main plot. A lot of the Disney worlds don't contribute anything towards it. Right. Most of the time, you're just playing an abridged version of that Disney movie's particular plot. Winnie the Pooh, I think, is the Main Winnie offender. the Pooh is really more TV is than the, movie. Is, well, then, it, so well, it's just also, minigame, really. It's also the main offender of this. We do oh. nothing My here. It's just minigames. We learn nothing. We go nowhere with the plot. Nothing. Oh, I don't want to say you do nothing exactly. I mean, at the this bare, place is at just the bare This minimum. place is just here for you to get items. That's it. Yeah, and then, to unlock another keyhole for the secret ending. Right, but here's my thing as well. From, an inner, from, a, from a Watsonian perspective, at least Sword's making new friends. Yeah, with a bear, a tiger, a rabbit, two kangaroos, and a donkey who's always Look, depressed. Unless oh my. Unless they're not named Donner, Goofy, Riku, Kairi, I really see no yeah. point. I get where you're coming from. You're not wrong for thinking that. Actually, I'm fun fact. The guy who voices Optimus Prime is actually the voice of Eeyore. Peter Cullen? Yes. All right, what we got here? That, that is true, though. So, I... Uh, yeah, that's really interesting. I, 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 I never... That fooled me. <laughs> uh, one fun fact here, ladies and gentlemen. I know what you're all thinking. Well, if you guys hate this world and it makes you feel childish, why are you doing it? Because, because it's Nomura, necessary. Because Nomura is crafty in that way. What they did is that they put these... They put, like, the really good treasures in places like this. So it's like... It's kind of like akin to Chocobo Hot and Cold from Final Fantasy IX. You're absolutely right. You don't have to do it. You gain nothing. You don't have to do it. There's no story point in doing it. But you feel like a complete ass if you miss out on all the treasure for not doing it. Indeed. That's the only reason why I'm really doing this. It's, there's a few reasons why you want to do 100 Acre Wood in terms for a completionist thing. One, if you do all the mini games successfully, you get Sora's cheer, which extends summoning time. Secondly, you unlock the keyhole, which you need in order to get the best ending. Well, the secret ending, I should say. Early you get Stopra, which we're going to need one we get Yes, Laura and Ambra. we get spell upgrades, which is really the main reason why we're here. Yeah, in Kingdom Hearts 1, we get Stopra, which we need to fight Lord Ombra. I, ever since I learned what 
the Phantom was look what the Phantom was based off of. I've been calling him that ever since, <laughs> even though it's really the Phantom. Well, I'm pretty and, sure we'll be fighting some sort of Phantom later down the road. Yeah. Wait, what? Why did you hit the um the chimney? The chimney causes an item to fall off from the chimney. That was that little oh, item oh, box okay. that I picked up from the floor. Chimney. Chimney. You said chimney. Chimney. It's, 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 chimney the, same, it's the same thing. <laughs> Chimney Chenikush! Chimney Chenikush! Chimney Chenikush! Okay. So, there are five tour pages in total. We have all of them. But you can only do them in sequ uh, sequential order. So, our next destination is that this, big tree. this big tree right here. Is that the honey tree Pooh was talking about? Yes, it is. Is that where we can play Pooh Sticks? No. <laughs> do you want to know how he gets to Pooh Sticks? <laughs> <laughs> do you really want to know? It's a disturbing tale. I'll never forget that Saturday. <laughs> That's one for Noodle Incident. <laughs> so we are already introduced to Pooh. <clears throat> now we're introduced to... We saw Al earlier. Now we're introduced to Bacon. Indeed. I don't even think he makes one bacon strip. No, he's <laughs> really rather small. Bacon niblet, bacon bit. <laughs> bacon! It's me, Piglet. Oh, it's Piglet. Yeah. He just name? said it was Piglet three times. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought Piglet was a chick. I kind of thought that too. I thought I Piglet think was all of a female. Them are gender ambiguous, pretty much, except Tigger. Except Tigger. I'm pretty sure he's male. But but how? What about how Owl? Owl's definitely male. Owl's definitely male. Yeah, but like, we sound like fanboys over Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I don't even like Winnie, Winnie the Pooh. All right, actually, it's one uh, thing to like. It's one thing to like. There's a difference between liking it and just knowing it. Like, if you if you like. If you grew up with this kind of stuff a lot, and you and it's still beating into your head, okay, okay. He's I thought you were supposed to sneak up to him. Yeah, it's, uh, there am I. <laughs> he had no idea what he did. He caught a glimpse of big source, big ass yellow shoe. Wasn't sure how to assess it. <laughs> He's on his <always> cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Piglet. I want to be like Mike. <laughs> Don't be scared. You're looking for Pooh, right? Oh, we're about to play pig sticks. I thought they were called poo sticks. <laughs> oh, <that laughs> the name keeps changing after a while. <laughs> <laughs> no, Pooh's running a monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually a tyrant. Everything here is poo related. You, f you fetch him honey, you play poo sticks, you play poo pool. Everything works around Winnie the Pooh. That's why, he, that's why people think of him as the main character. Yeah, why do you think Rabbit's terrified of the guy? <laughs> because Rabbit's an OCT nervous wreck. And Eeyore's, Eeyore's just fine. Eeyore's just collapsed under the oppression. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only th and he collapsed pretty damn hard. Not even that little bow on his tail helps him. He keeps losing, that, he keeps damn losing that damn thing. That's Which because adds he, to the depression. Because <laughs> because he crossed poo one day. <laughs> <laughs> poo, do we really have to? Oh God! Oh! <laughs> Piglet, shut up or you're getting five in the eyes! <laughs> shut up before I poo slap you! <laughs> Tugger, <Tugga>, please! <laughs> shut up, man. <laughs> I was actually kind of expecting that. Alright, so we have our first mini game here, but we need to talk to Poo in order to. Man, this sounds so weird out of context, but anyway. Hello, Sora. Would you care to further my regime? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, first video game is we have to help Pooh get some honey. But first, annoying owl from Ocarina of Time. Da, 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 da. That's it! <laughs> and then that theme. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm batting a thousand on these ideas. I'm the one that thought of it. Uh, okay, let's just say we. You know what? You thought of it. Yeah, you did. Good idea, John. I'm so glad I thought of it. <laughs> anyway. You did think of it. That was a great idea. <laughs> but, uh... Alright, so Al's, Al's role is really just... Exposition. To how to play the minigame. And honestly, out of all the mini games we're going to be playing out of this game, this is my least favorite one. Well, no, actually, not my least favorite one. The other one that we're getting to later is my least favorite one. But this is just as much of a pain in the ass. We pretty much have to let Pooh get higher and higher up the tree. He's going to be eating honey as he's going along. And we have to protect him from bees. Now you saw, as you saw earlier, before I was uh, approaching the bees Piglet. The are the revolutionists. Yeah, they're, they're the rebellion. <laughs> as you saw before, I was approaching Piglet. There, I uh, turned off high jump because you don't want high jump on for this game. Oh, it's very so possible to do it with high jump. Range. You just kind of make a good use of the rush command. But you're absolutely right in the sense of it's easier for you to do it that way. Oh uh, no, 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 uh, no, Chocobo. Yeah, you want a keyblade with range in this game. 
Well fought. See, I want to jump up there, but I'm nervous as hell. I kind of like the music to 100 Acre Wood, though. Say what you will against it or for it, you gotta admit, the music catches it rather well. Needless to say, the further up you go, the quicker the bees get. Yeah. And once you reach a certain point and get a good rhythm down, yeah. it's easy. If there's one thing you don't want to do is don't uh, attack, don't jump and attack the bees. Just stand from the ground and attack the bees from the ground. Sora will automatically jump in mid-air back to the nearest branch. And that's the key to winning this game, is you just have to be patient. The, hard, the hardest part about this game is just manually climbing up the branches to reach poo. And angles. Yes, and camera angles. So the boss battle in 100 Acre Wood is the camera. <laughs> That's the constant boss battle throughout the game. Indeed. Okay, I think we're pretty much good though from this vantage point. Yeah. I mean, as soon as the bees pop up, give them some time to approach poo, and then when they're close enough, just uh, strike them. It's amazing how much... Po you know what? It's amazing how much poo eats, and the balloon still holds them up. Yeah. If it were up to excess, I'd say he houses an immeasurable void within him. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, I think he's eating from X Death. Okay, oh, we got. Oh, you monster! <clears throat> In order to su uh, successfully complete Pooh's mini game here, we have to get over 100 morsels of honey. So we've already well established that. I honestly think it's less than 100. No, but... it's more than 100. I've done all the research. Okay. You have to get over 100 morsels in order to technically complete Pooh's mini game. Very well. Then if I, I was misremembered. <clears throat> now, in terms of progression, in terms of the this this uh this world's plot, you don't need to successfully complete the mini games. You just gotta play them once. And you can move on to the next page. But we're trying to aim for getting all the games completed because I do want Sora's cheer. Just for the sake of completion. And because I think we're going to be abusing one summon later on. Call it a hunch. Okay. After that quick discussion of me and Matt, what summon we're talking about, <laughs> we can continue the minigame. Uh, camera was kind of getting in my way here. Swing. There we go. Interestingly yeah. enough, every time you swat the bees, Poo gains 10 honey. <laughs> yeah, you're right, actually. I never noticed that. Oh my god, are we feeding off the bees' corpses? <laughs> Poo prefers to make an example out of those who rebel against them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is the highest we can reach. And he's constantly eating from the same hole. Yeah. Well, that's where the most honey is. Yeah. The honey is sweeter up top. Are we able to find Poo sticks? Pooh's gonna be making some poo sticks with all this honey. <laughs> Too bad though. Actually, no, he won't be making the poo sticks. Remember, the void. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once it goes in, it does not come out at all. Okay. That is actually the highest score I ever got in this mini game. That's <laughs> the highest score I think I've seen anybody get. And a raccoon jumps on his face. It is rather funny. What I will do for honey. Poo, you including, sick bastard. Including, <laughs> including the execution of a coin different from me. <laughs> they ask they ask me what I do when I look up at when they look up at me and I say, Oh bother. Oh, jackpot, nature, nature spark. spark. That is that's another, a summoning that's gem. That's summoning gem. And that's like one of my personal favorites to use outside of the Tinkerbell summon. We'll unlock its powers after we finish this world. Indeed he do. What's next up? A vault sign hangs above this door. In we go. Let's take a look. Who's good, dude? We can't do. Now we already ventured into this page <laughs> earlier, but now we can actually get some progression here. I'm gonna keep the metal truck about on. Oh yes. wait, we've been here. This we, is a different place we gotta go to. Oh, uh, that's right. Look, Alistair. Uh, what do you get for talking? You've been a great help, Sora. Thank you. You helped Pooh give honey from the bees. We can't thank you enough. You're always welcome here. Please, Sora. <laughs> join the. He wants you to join the revolution. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I cannot actually, roll an R. <laughs> Actually, uh, let's get uh, let's get high jump back on because we will be needing it for later on. The By the way, I want to take this oh, time here. here to make a slight nod. One of our viewers pointed out the real benefits of strike raid. I'm sorry, I forget your username at the time, but thank you for really highlighting the usage of that to us. But we'll still prefer Sonic Blade. But you're not wrong, and we thank you for highlighting its benefits. We'll for us. Be, we'll we'll be showing off strike later on anyway. Okay. You know, I'm actually wondering, where are Don and Goofy doing now? Since They're just the outside book. of Merlin's house, kicking it up with their homies at the crib. <laughs> playing poker. <laughs> Pumpkins. Can you imagine Goofy playing poker? All right, Donald, you got two kings? Goofy, we're playing. We're playing poker, jackass. Oh. Look at that. Someone cannot spell for shit. They will pay for this indiscretion with their patches. That, that's cabbage. My cabbages! Someone <laughs> needs... 
be taught a lesson. Proper spelling or you'll lose your vegetable patch. What are you, a it's, YouTube it's like, grammar it's, Nazi? I'm a grammar Nazi. Just, mm. No, you're not. Dude, believe I've seen me. your Facebook posts. You don't what? capitalize. Yes, I do. You, yeah, your yeah your verbs never agree with the subject matter. <laughs> I always capitalize. Spell cabbage wrong, will ya? Ah. I just think nowhere in this world are the cops, so Sora's free to do what he pleases. <laughs> As a matter of fact, with no cops, that's how Pooh rose to power. <laughs> <laughs> Is it in here? I mean, let's face it. Ah. Are you gonna fight? Are you gonna pick a fight with a goddamn bear? Yeah. There's usually an elixir in here. Yeah, but the pumpkins, though. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, since I don't want to spend too much time doing this, let's edit out to the point where we get something from the pumpkin. As a John stops being a complete asshole. Wait, how's pumpkin spelled? Take out one P. Wait, let's actually see how pumpkins it's, are spelled. It's pumpkin. Pumpkins. Pumpkins. What the shit? That's <laughs> not even adorable from a cutesy angle. <laughs> Mario. No elixir. Wow, really? I, well, I, I did a test play through this world, and I got a potion and elixir from the cabbage patch. Cabbage patch. Yeah, <laughs> the cabbagey. Ooh. Now we commit felonies. Now we're just. Now we're just. <laughs> That's a passive aggressive note. <laughs> yeah. I hope we'll be finding more honey together soon, or I'm gonna bust a cop in your ass. Rabbit's house with a W. For a guy with OCD, you think spelling would be a higher concern? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the S. It's like backwards. As far as it, as, is it any, uh, I know Winnie the Pooh is meant for children, but when you consider the adults here. They're not much better. <laughs> right? What do you call a backwards S? Retard. <laughs>